to the EverQuest 2 Insider. I am Margaret Luperza Crone, your host for the evening, and also your community manager. And with me today is a whole group of people, so I'm going to introduce the main desk first. Why don't you start off? I'm Akil Hooper. I'm creative director for EverQuest and EverQuest 2. I'm also comedy relief this evening. <laughs> Too bad. We were going we to replace him <laughs> with the Designosaur, but <clears throat> then he showed up, so we couldn't do that. <laughs> and you are? Kyle Valee, lead a level 100 lead designer. That's what my tag says. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's what my tag is. And we also have uh, Carlos over there on the camera. <laughs> Carlos <laughs> Mora <laughs> th at the Ninja Gnome, I think. He right? kind of knows who he is. <laughs> and over on the couch, we have that's a whole good, group Carlos. of people. You guys want to introduce yourself, starting with Holly? Uh, I'm Holly Longdale, the senior producer of EverQuest 2. I'm Dave Kish, and this is my friend I'm Dave Kish, and this is my friend, Mr. Wiggles. I'm Adam Key. I'm the brand manager on the EverQuest franchise, and this is my dinosaur. I don't have a name for him yet. We'll call him Bob. And we also have Nathan dinosaur. Off, off the camera. I don't know if you want to run, in, run into <laughs> Give him Hi. the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. That's Nathan. Okay. Uh, Nathan, uh, I'm known as Kay Thiel on the boards, and uh, I am a lead. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, I'm nice. not. <laughs> Designer. You can be whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, all of a sudden, I'm the lead. Sorry, see you guys. Uh, <laughs> <He's just> weird. <laughs> so now that you've he's met the crew, assistant. we're going to go over kind of what has been happening throughout the week. We did an AMAA on Reddit while we had some downtime due to all access. And that went really well. I think the community really loved it. From what I heard, all the people who got to be involved in that or who are reading the comments are really enjoying how, the, how transparent we're being and how open we are. And that's kind of the direction that we're moving. We're actually going to be adding a section on the forums that's going to give you guys a background of like what our calendar is actually going to be like. So it's going to be the EverQuest 2 development calendar. And that's going to let you guys see what's coming up in the future so you don't have to be like, are they really working on things? When is that coming out? You guys are going to kind of know that. And uh, maybe Holly. Do you want to talk about that a little bit further or? What, the calendar? Yeah. Um, yeah, so we want to make sure that we're keeping you informed of what the team is basically planning to work on. Um, stuff that's already in our schedule, a lot of it's uh, done already and being tested. Um, we're probably a good solid two months out um, and you'll, pr you'll hear in a, a little bit a bit more about what our plans are later this year in terms of expansion. but. Um, this team has been working really hard to get a bunch of weekly updates ready for you, lots of content, um, not necessarily a lot of feature type stuff, but things that you'll find really great conveniences and things. So um, we want to be transparent about what's coming, which we will do in a calendar. And uh, as we found in the past few weeks, sometimes we adjust. So sometimes things come up in the game that we want to address sooner than later. So, so you'll in probably in the past few weeks and in the coming weeks, we're adding things that we probably hadn't planned to add for about a month or so. Um, just because we want to keep you happy, fun stuff to do, and um, yeah. yeah. yeah, We'll so, have it all up there soon. Like she said, basically the calendar won't be all the content that you guys are going to see. It's just going to be a portion of it so that you guys are aware of what's coming up. We had all access launch, which was crazy for me. I know you guys are, your accounts are all kinds of messed up. We fixed a lot of it. If you're still having issues, please contact our customer support team. I know they're backed up, but they're definitely trying to get to you guys as soon as possible. Um, so that was exciting. We're gonna be doing some double XP for you guys, randomly. For At some point, maybe. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> it was a secret no. until now. No, it wasn't. Thanks, Maggie. We talked no, about it last yeah, time. No, we, we did. <laughs> we did. So the, the <laughs> it's announced. It's all over the page. Oh, yeah. So we did the double XP as a sort of make good uh, over the weekend. But um, coming up soon, for the first time, we're going to be doing all access only double XP days. So uh, we'll, we may do a weekend every now and again, but we're probably going to be doing more like let you know in a relatively short time frame when it's going to happen. Uh, yeah. So hopefully you stay tuned and then you'll get double XP. Yeah, I remember. it'll be yeah. fun times. And so we have another announcement. We're going to be starting to do contests every month. And the first contest of this month, and we're going to announce them always on here, is going to be draconic themed. And you might have already been seeing some messages in the chat going out, or at least there should be, move out should be. Yes, there he is, calling out the decorators. So the contest is going to be for all of you home show decorators out there. Decorate your house, make it Dr draconic themed and you could be uh, one of the winners. And what we're going to be doing for the winners is we're going to be giving away a bundle that's worth $25. It's going to be up to five items of your choice. So depending on what you get, it might be less than five items, but like you could have a prestige house and then maybe a couple items on the side. So yeah, 
it's pretty cool reward for any of you guys who actually love doing that stuff. And we'll have other kind of contests in the future. Maybe in the next month it'll be related to rating or it'll be related to grouping and getting a photo of your guys' group together or maybe guild related. So if you have any ideas that you'd like us to do for contests, definitely send them my way. You can PM me on the forums, Luperza. And uh, yeah, we'll keep doing those. So you have till the 27th for this one. So keep submitting the photos and we can't wait to see them. And maybe we'll spotlight a whole bunch of the really good ones on the next Insider. Beyond that, we have some weekly updates. We've been doing those. We had a little hiatus due to all access, and I don't know if anyone wants to cover that a little bit. But yeah, we, just, we combined the stuff. It was bad, you know, <laughs> for every week, was it was kind of like, you know, we, um, uh, <coughs> we released a couple of store items people asked for, so the player voted Dark Lighthouse. We added just because we could, and we couldn't do anything else. Um, but yeah, so we kind of bundled everything we've been planning to do, with the exception of the guild hall, that just the High Keep guild hall that went up today. Um, yeah, so we just put everything in one shot, the High Keep contested and the Bloody Shank Heritage quest, yeah. um, which will be available for free players next Tuesday, Wednesday. Two weeks from when we launch. So yeah, so next, next Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to be showing off some photos and whatnot from that as well, because we're going to talk about that a little <coughs> bit more in detail later. Um, but right now, I want to give you guys a sneak peek. If you're going to SOE Live this year, which you should be, uh, you should definitely go check out SOE.com slash SOE Live. Uh, sign up. Early registration ends May 12th, so you guys want to sign up as soon as possible. This is like your last recall. Go. Go get in. Um, and we're going to be showing you some uh, art here in a second, as soon as they let me. Uh, so this is the first time you guys are seeing the backpack that you will be getting if you come to SOE Live. Well, those are, these are these concepts. These are concepts. Yeah. So one of these could yeah. possibly be it or, or a combination. Or a combination of yeah. all of them. And a shout out to Nobrin, Aaron Biznet, who did these last night in about two hours. Yeah, he's yeah. crazy. And he posts a bunch of stuff on his Twitter, too. You guys should follow him. I think I had him as one of the Follow Fridays previously, but you should definitely check out his stuff. He is an amazing artist. So this is a 66 slot bag, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then it obviously it'll have an appearance. So, so if, yeah. you, if you like big bags, this is, <laughs> this is the place to be. There's and nothing that, that, that doesn't sound wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we even had a song that was made by some players. Yeah, we didn't it, make it. No, some players <laughs> made it, but it was hilarious. Yes, I, it was. I've, I've shared it on social a few times, and I'm sure I will in the future again. So uh, definitely come to SOE Live, hang out with us. You get to actually bombard us with questions where we can't run away. Well, we might we try. Run we can run away. <laughs> we can, run <laughs> we can away. try to run away. <laughs> um, so beyond that, we're going to be doing a giveaway in chat. This is for three collectors, three collectors editions. So one of you random people in chat is going to be selected. And I believe we're going to try to have one of our AV guys just kind of grab three random people. Do you think you can handle that? I can. He I can. can. He's, he's selecting them. Again. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. Oh Too much pressure. Hold on. I don't know, maybe. Oh, the actually oh there's, there's another off. song in there. It's Bring Sexy Bags. I like that. Oh, Bring <laughs> Sexy <laughs> Bags. Got that. Nice, nice. Yeah. yeah anyone else? Good puns yeah, go on, 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 on bags? I thought it was We Like Yeah, bags. if you have puns, bag the puns, go one ahead. One. Omid's probably got a million. Where? Yeah, what? Come on, Omid. I'm waiting. <laughs> Don't pick Tom Toby. Don't. <laughs> I like how you picked Tom right. Toby Tom as Toby. the random person. The we random winner is not Tom Toby. Congratulations, Tom Toby. Yeah. Employees aren't allowed to win. <laughs> employees, employees can't win. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But you did get a bag, Tom. <laughs> yes, you did get a bag. We'll give you some big bags. Excellent. Yes, it, it's a 66 slot bag. All right, we got frog pills. Frog pills. Frog pills is up. What are those? You don't and know. Kovac. Oh, yeah. we'll the other one lot. is Kovac 007. Is it like Kovac rabbit pellets? Kovac 007. Congratulations. Oh, there he is. Kovac. I see him. Frog and pills. art exploding. Last Frog but not pills. least, Ice, Icy Shank. Icy <coughs> Shank. All right. You three are going to be messaged after the show is over. I'll be sending you your stuff. Hopefully they keep those messages open <coughs> so that I can have them. Don't close them. He's like... <laughs> All right. Um... And uh, so congratulations on your collector's editions. And if you Yay. already have yours, um, you can give it to a friend. Or if you run a live stream of your own, maybe you could do a giveaway, something like that. Probably pretty neat. And we're going to be moving into, speaking of Adam over there, we're going to be moving into the EQ2 Worlds app update. And we just recently got an update. And we're going to run a video first. And then Adam's going to cover what was all shown to you guys so you have some context. So let's go ahead and play that.
so that kind of gave you guys a run through of what the EQ2 World Zap is. And we, we talked about it a little bit last time, but every time there's an update, we want to give you guys information on what's going on. And Adam, do you want to run us through just kind of what's happened this recently? Sure. Um, and just in case you haven't already downloaded it, it's a free app. Um, it's available on Google, on Android and Apple. And uh, it's really a great way to keep up with the entire franchise. EverQuest 2, EverQuest, and Landmark um, really offers great rewards in all of those games. Um, but this week, our update today, um, we added two new mini games, uh, one of which is called Mineral Match, which is kind of a bejeweled style game, um, and another one is Everguess. So it's a word scramble using words from the EverQuest franchise um, that you have to mix up and solve, and it's pretty fun. It's, re it's really an addicting game. And we also added another quest line, uh, which is related to Landmark Live. Um, that's a stream that's actually coming on shortly after this stream at 4 o'clock Pacific. So in that quest line what you're going to do is you're going to watch the stream for banners and icons that appear in the show and you can scan them with your phone and when you scan them after you've scanned enough of them uh, you get a reward um, after after going through the all the live streams that offer these these icons so it's a really cool engaging um, app for the entire franchise and uh, be sure to check out the YouTube feed and the news feed so you can keep up to date with all the latest news and the latest uh, uh, videos that we're putting out across the franchise and people say you guys don't look happy you guys need to be happier on that couch is it because Omid did something to the couch like what there's why? a lingering unhappiness what's going on I, I, I was yeah. reading the chat they're like they look really unhappy I'm, I'm like, sorry do you look sorry. unhappy that was so in the engaging mean, they're happy. but yeah we were yeah. mesmerized we by Adam sorry all right, and uh, thank you, Adam, for kind of running us through that, and hopefully you guys all check thank that you. app out. We're trying to add some new stuff into there, possibly some rewards that you can get, some more rewards that you can get in-game as well for doing things on there, so stay tuned for those kind of things. And uh, we're actually going to bring Nathan over to the couch. He's going to be joining us because he's going to be uh, hanging out with us in the future. So thank you again, Adam. And I just hey, want to kind of reiterate, Adam. Icy Shank, Frog Pills, and Kovac 007. You guys were both, the, all three of you were the winners of the Collector's Edition. I know people were like, who were the names? So those were the names, and I will send you a PM after this. On, and, and also on, <laughs> on Twitch. And, they win? and they won a Collector's Edition. So you won a Collector's Edition of EverQuest 2. So, so one more time? Of oh, TOV, the expansion, yeah. yes. And uh, there Everquest we go. EverQuest 2. <laughs> the expansion. The expansion. Yes. Collector's Collector edition. edition. Yeah. There you go. He said <laughs> Multiple times. I think you guys got it. All right, we're going to be moving into new content and what's <laughs> coming up or what has already been implemented in the game. And uh, a couple of these are new that you guys haven't ever heard of or seen or anything. So we're going to be talking to the, you guys about them. And I have Kyle here who's probably going to be talking about a majority of them. And the first thing is currency conversion. Some of you guys have already heard about it. Holly talked about it in her producer's letter last month. And um, came up a couple times in the in the AMA as well. Yeah. Yep, in the yeah. AMA. So let's run people through what that is. It's pretty quick, general. It's basically the ability to convert all your old currencies into something useful. So we're going to be giving you new stuff to do with them, like transmuting and I think some tinkering stuff. So, But not all the old currencies. Yeah, we're focusing <coughs> on the Not all the old currencies. Expansion, <laughs> expansion currencies. specific yes. currency, yes. Yeah. So it's pretty straightforward. I, I think that um, if you want to, if you have more questions about it. They answered a lot in the AMA, <coughs> so you can check that out as well. Uh, I want to get into the cool stuff. So, Ethereal Drops. I don't know if you guys have heard about this. Probably not, right? No. They haven't heard about yeah. this. No, this is done, new. Done them in the past. No I've heard about it a lot. This so is different about it. Um, let's talk about that. Yay! And we actually <coughs> have a photo, so I want to show that, and you can kind of explain what's going on, Kyle. All right. Here we go. Um, this is a screenshot of one of the Ethereal Drops that's coming up. Um, that'll be dropping starting, I think, May 13th. Mm -hmm. um, every server is also going to get an uh, artifact version of each ethereal drop. So the artifact versions will be one per server. Um, you will receive a title if you loot one. Uh, the, the artifact versions also have a one-of-a-kind particle effect that um, goes on your character when you equip them. They're pretty cool. Um, these are all basically lore stuff that's coming up with the expansion this year. So it's hints and little little glimpses into what we're going to be doing. Uh, so on the, oh my god. <laughs> it's very cool. On my left, that's the ethereal, and obviously the artifact says artifact just below ethereal. So, 
Sweet. And yeah, everyone's and they can commenting stack, on right? how beautiful oh, your mane is. Yeah, and also, and also, um, <laughs> like that's all people care about. They all don't care the, about um, yeah, all the, um, <laughs> all the, like, but I do. Okay, go on. Sorry. All the ethereal <laughs> and artifacts, their their procs and their effects stack. So, if you're lucky enough to get both, they stack. And there's some really neat stuff with this as well, where people will have specific ones that other people can't have, right? That's the artifact. That's the yeah, artifact, the artifact, artifact versions, yeah. right. So. so there's four There's four new archetypal-ish um, ethereals that'll start dropping. Uh, I think May 13th, they're ready to go, so. Mm. Off mission crates and. Off of heroic mission crates, and then um, there will be an artifact version of each of the ethereals. <coughs> and we have, we have big plans to do a lot more artifact stuff. And people are all saying, wow, I want them, I need them, give me, these are ballin' stats. So uh, those are just some quotes from chat right now. That was Thought me. you guys would appreciate it. Um, uh, yeah, yeah we, also did some, we also did some cool stuff with the coloring. So the icons and stuff will show up totally different colors when you have them equipped. Like uh, the ethereals are orange, as you can see, and the artifacts are green. And even when they're equipped, they're orange and green. And these are just for summer, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and these are just, well, well, for as long as we decide to have them. These are as long <laughs> as we decide to do them, and then we'll probably do some different ones for the summertime. And these are all tradable, right, Kyle? And they are all tradable. Yeah, so. Even the artifact oh, version. Thanks yeah. for asking. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a leading question. <laughs> <laughs> How long will it take to get on the broker after it? <laughs> oh, probably. Just and, and how much are they going to sell it for? Are we taking votes on? I'd be, su I'd be surprised if anyone put it these even on the broker. Got it. Yeah, I would yeah. think they would keep it if they got it, right? Because. Yeah. I think, I think the cool first one is probably going to go to Tom Toby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Tom Toby's going to win. Uh, the slots that they're covering is, I believe, we have two rings and two wrists. Yeah, so they're yeah they're not. These are both wrists, by the way, in case you didn't <laughs> notice. No way. They don't have green slots, which would be the first clue. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it, and it says are, wrists on it, uh, so that might help. Yeah, the particle effects <laughs> are, all, are all are all pretty cool. I think. Like yes. They're pretty unique and they're all um, themed to the item, yeah. as are the procs and the effects. They're yeah. not very obtrusive either, so I think people are going to really dig them. Yeah, they're cool. Cool. All right. Moving on, we're going to talk about a little bit about loyalty items. So loyalty items. What are they? What do they do? What can people look forward to as far as those go? I think that there'll Holly. be more of them. <laughs> so, uh, I think, uh, I can't remember when, we were going to schedule them for next week, but we decided to do the ethereal stuff uh, instead. So, basically, uh, I think next, uh, week after next, um, we're going to release a whole, uh, there's like over a hundred new loyalty items, for some for all access only, some for everyone, um, but there's a good set in there now, or additional set. And at some point, we're going to add loyalty items to the in-game marketplace, so where you see the store, we'll have a category for loyalty items, because we know the in-game merchants are getting a bit uh, chaotic, and, and yes. yeah, so um, we'll have a way for you to, to buy them from our store, so engineers will be working on that after they're done with yeah. some of the other priorities. They'll be on the store for loyalty points, though. Like, you're still That's right. the same loyalty tokens. You just won't have to go to the city to buy them. You just buy them anywhere. Yeah, and we're d yeah we're d trying to make things a lot easier and uh, more intuitive for you. So the checkout will actually Dave is working on that as well. So the checkout window, um, you'll be able to select all the various currencies that are valid for a particular item. So if so, in some cases we have <coughs> items for loyalty points or SC. If that were the case, you can select which currency you want to use. So Some it'll be all nice. make more sense and be. Someone nice. said they want bigger bags of plat for loyalty tokens. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think of that, Kyle? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, you heard it here. You heard it here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, wow. yeah. <laughs> it just means the icon will be bigger, but I mean. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> More space. <laughs> this one takes up four spaces. Now we have to move on to our next new content item, which is Tunaria Battlegrounds. And we're going to be showing you guys some screenshots of those right now. And uh, Kyle, run us through. what. What are these? What what's kind of oh, new here? This Where looks can, how can people like the new Tunaria Warzone, which is going to go live on the Battlegrounds server, so you'll be able to access it from Respite. So it'll be everyone, everyone ever will have access to it. Um, it's basically a big open war zone. There's some uh, PvP writs inside, and I believe there's some contested guys in there, mobs that drop loot 
<laughs> so we drop it's loot. very specific. We yeah. like <laughs> we like loot. We like yeah, how fat is said loot. Um, you got to see Dave's like hand gestures. <laughs> it's That's like a good question. Or not? <laughs> not so fat. Not so fat. Dope. <laughs> dope. Dope. Wow. It yeah. drops dope loot. That's a, that's <laughs> a, it's a design term. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So there you guys go. And then we also are doing. Well, it's already out. We have bloody shame. Yes, the mobs will be there. The mobs will be there. They're not in that photo, but they That's will be there. That's what I just said. Come okay. on. <laughs> they're, they're behind us a little bit. Yeah, they also are like about... Oh, they lagged? Yeah, they're they're lagged. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'm apologizing to um, the chat. To the te I know. I'm like, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> He's apologizing to the table. Okay, they won't see it for another minute. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, chat dude. Uh, so we have the <laughs> bloody shank quests that are out the heritage quest so you guys got to go find that and look further into that quest line and we also have the high keep and i kind of want to show the photos of that i think we have those up here Photo. photos no photos. More photos um so what's going on here that's what, a guild what? hall and this is i don't want to rain on your parade. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is the high keep guild hall right yeah. yes this will be coming out with its big foofy it's curtains yeah yeah, there's two, yeah, you guys might want to talk about that a bit on the design side. There's um, a fair amount of detail that we can, can give that. you to go mm -hmm. into it about how you acquire the achievement, the the communal property, and how you achieve it as a guild and stuff, <coughs> because it just went up this morning. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so today, I'll, awesome. actually, I'll actually have an article as well that will go out, and it'll talk about everything that's in detail, but if you want to go ahead. Yeah, so the um, the way that the guild hall works is everyone in, in the guild gets to contribute. So there, um, you can get stones, tokens, I can't remember what we decided to call them. They're heart stones. Heart stones. Heart stones, and then they're stones. shattered. And shattered heart stones, yeah. yeah. But you can you can get shattered heart stones from doing content in high key, um, like missions and um, achievements and uh, they drop other off other stuff. Mobs, yeah. um, and so you can collect the heart stones that way. And each time you collect one, it increments a guild achievement for you. When you've got enough guild achievements, you can your guild has access to the um, to the guild hall. You can you can purchase the guild hall. And then um, also you can get shattered heart stones, which can be. Um, which can be crafted into heart stones if you're a trade skiller. Um, and shattered heart stones are tradable and you can sell them to your friends or buy them off the broker. Um, but the recipe for shattered heart stones will be, the re recipe to convert shattered heart stones will be research. So off your apprentice. Off your apprentice, yeah, so it'll take some time to yeah. get that. So you have to use your apprentice. And also, once you get the heart stone, it will be auto-consumed and it'll be consumed for both your tier two and tier three. Yeah. So it'll just automatically go to both of those, so you don't It's a basically that. an incremental yeah. so thing. You'll earn the first one and then that so count is... And you get an better. updated in game that tells you that your achievement's coming out. It won't spam you if you loot a bunch of them. It'll just tell you every like 10 minutes, I think, or something like that. Yeah. Mm. So what they're saying, there are actually two guild halls. Yes, there's, one there's tier two. One one that's smaller. And, yeah. And and you'll obviously achieve the smaller one first, but um, but you'll have access to both eventually. Yeah, the tier two is really cool. There's um, the there's one it. of the floors um, <laughs> is um, revised. There's two additional rooms on a floor, but it doesn't. I believe it doesn't have the banquet area or something. But anyway, um, yeah, there's two sizes and All tiers. Right. There's no there's no raid required to get the guild hall. No nope. raid required. I don't know why you guys are saying in game content. It's not, it's not it's not in game uh, content. In, well, it's in game, game. It's in game. game. Heroic, it's not heroic, not heroic content. It's all heroic. Did I say it's end game content? No, you said no. in game. In game. game. So he was saying quest. <laughs> no, no raids like required. Quest, yeah. killing it's mobs, all just all that stuff, and then you craft them. Because they're repeatable. There re there's like twenty seven repeatable quests or something ridiculous like that. So, yeah. It's anybody, everyone can join in on this. If you don't have a guild, though, you're going to need a guild because it's going to get auto consumed. Because it's, it's a guild hall. Yeah, yes. it's a guild hall. <laughs> yeah, I tried to make that point. If, if, if you loot one, it will, it, it will, if you loot one, yeah. it will tell you, well, you didn't get to consume it because you don't, you need to find more friends. Yeah, so, so go find friends. So do I, so don't feel bad. <laughs> I have many guilds, so I will help all of you out. No. Um, so moving on to, we already kind of talked about new content, but I want to move over to Carlos over there, who's been patiently waiting. He's been playing for a little while with dinosaurs. Carlos. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, we are going to be checking day. out North TOV Raid Zone, and Carlos, you, you got to, this is your masterpiece, right? Yeah, uh, I've been working on this for a while, yeah. It's, yeah. it's been a, a quite a journey. <laughs> um, All right, so run us through this. Uh, 
what's going on here and uh, maybe if you can run us through the background story and what people can expect when they get here. Sure. Uh, basically, this is the third wing of the uh, the raid zone for Temple of Nishan. Oh Michonne. my gosh, you have to so look we at this. killed the dragon before <laughs> His tongue is like well, sticking out to you. Yeah. When you came in here the first time, in the first two wings, you uh, had to clear the first two wings, and this guy was... Uh, he was in your Kind of hanging out. This is Santalok, and uh, he left his corpse behind. I'm not sure why it's not rotting, but, you know, hey, it's there. <laughs> um, you had to loot it. Just for well, realism? Uh, I'm pretty sure they took the loot with them. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know, just, just a guess. <clears throat> um, when you come into the third wing, you know, there's all sorts of new creatures and new uh, fights to, to fight and get new loot. But uh, in general, I mean, it's made up of the generals from uh, Karafram's army. Um, he protects them, though, so you have to do some a few little prerequisites to get in here and protect yourselves from those nasty things. Um, kind of flying around here and going to each uh, boss area. Probably should make it a little quicker, huh? There's eight bosses in this. Um, one is a one-shot boss. Uh, I'm not going to go into which one it is. You'll have to figure it out. Oh, he but gave you a little hint there, though. It is a one-shot boss, which means you get one chance. Um, this is the gatekeeper, who basically is, uh, you know, hey, he's a gatekeeper. There's these machines around the room. <laughs> the no gate. way! <laughs> you have to. Uh, if you guys have questions, feel free to add them in chat, and sure. I'll try to pick them up while he's um, through this. It's a pretty big zone. I mean, as you can see, I mean, I've just it's taken me this long just to get to where the first boss is, um, and I'm on a flying mount, so you and can't fly. And there's no mobs here. that you're having to fight yet. Well, I've got aggro turned off oh, gotcha. right now. <laughs> just, just for showing. I mean, it would be kind Cheater, of. It would be a little bit longer if I had to fight each one. <laughs> um, when you come into the main chamber here, it opens up quite a bit. I mean, some of you guys have seen this zone before. I mean, Vulok's uh, Dominion, the heroic zone, was based off of this uh, geometry. Uh, so it's it's a little bit of a reuse on the zone, but it's it's a, a, a bit more of the storytelling going along with it uh, for a little bit higher end game stuff. So and, Kovac and just said, game, wait, Carefam, Carefam is coming back? He's like, but I killed him on the <laughs> Relosec raid. Ah. No, no, Karafram's not in here. Okay, uh, he's uh, he's <laughs> actually sent his his uh, fully functional fully battle armed station. And operational. <laughs> right. <laughs> As you can see, there's Vulok up there. That's uh, Vulok Air. He is the uh, the end boss in this in this raid. You saw him flying in a little bit. I'll play that again for you guys once I get up here. Uh, but he has his own little uh, entrance that he does. Uh, he also has vo full voiceover. So when you're fighting him, he will uh, taunt you. And when you fail, he will taunt you more. <laughs> um, but I'll go ahead and play the... Uh, oh, he's huge. Let's see here. That tail, it looks dangerous. He should, uh, there he goes. No, no, he's really a nice guy. So yeah, he, uh, he does some nasty things where he, you know, torches everybody below him and... Whoa, uh, yeah. So Don't want to be in the way of that. Right, yeah, it's pretty nasty stuff. This is end game. I mean, this is pretty much going to be the hardest content in uh, in our game currently. Yeah, so um, there was actually some questions about gear. People were wondering, is um, how is this gear going to compare to gear that's been out already? Um, it'll be slightly better. it'll be slightly better than the best stuff you can get right now. Um, we're working really hard to make sure everything is is as unique as possible and and uh, desirable. Um, but yeah, the loot should be really good. <laughs> People are saying when you when you die. Will he spam your email? I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> yeah. Um, when, every time you die, we're going to send you an email and, <laughs> and, and, and tease you. and He's yeah. going to go no. post on no. the forums. <laughs> <laughs> I would. We, it probably would go postal on the forums for something like that. <laughs> but anyway, um, there are eight bosses. Uh, you can see one of the other bosses down there below. That is, that is Lord Creason. Uh, some of the bosses in here are based off of the bosses that were in EQ1 in Temple of Ishan. There are some new ones as well, um, but you'll have to figure that out when you get there. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's figured out. pretty much it. Sweet. Yeah, people are excited. They want fat loot. Um, P uh, Omens is asking if the people who have been helping in beta to help test it, will they be getting anything in game for no. helping out? I'm not or sure. Just the, um, just the extra knowledge of... Well, they, do, they did get to, we, we did things a little bit differently. I mean, we didn't have any one guild 
uh, fighting everything. Uh, we wanted to make sure that you know no one guild got a got a super advantage over others. So okay. uh, we kind of you know doled it out a little bit from guild to guild. Um, we had seven or eight guilds testing, right. and every guild got to test the first and the last boss, and then they got one random in between. So no nobody knows all the bosses right and, and, they, and they were awesome everybody, everybody got killed. to test the first and the last so, one so so i see a comment in here somebody said all this work for five percent of the population uh this zone is actually going to be unique in that we expect it to last longer than some of our raid zones have in the past so right. so there's going to be a smaller segment of the population that's going to be doing it today but we expect that this is content that will have some staying power so um, so very similar to plane of war this zone will remain relevant. The loot will be, remain relevant. Um, we don't in any way, shape, or form expect you to be in here as long as some guilds were in plane of war. Um, but yeah, this content will remain, will remain relevant. So right. people are like, what is that? <laughs> what is what? <laughs> the thing that you had on the camera. Uh, I have before. no idea. Uh, no idea what no that idea. is. Yeah. There's a lot of that's there. Which that? <laughs> yeah, it, that, that? That is fire. Yeah. <laughs> yes. um, is fire bad? The fire is typically bad. Okay. It's not that bad. So <laughs> there's been a lot of content that has come out for non-raiders as well. So mm -hmm. keep, keep a lookout for all of that content. And um, I don't know if you want to kind of go over some of that at all. No? Go over what? Some of the content that's come out for non-raiders. because people like are high keep? Contested? Yeah. That just came out? Yeah. That just came out? And here. Fabled Dungeons? And <laughs> Go yes. Ahead. And we have, and we have, I mean, we have another, I, I just want to respond to these people. We have another like, Fabled Dungeon coming soon. soon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so there's, an, yeah, there's another Fabled Zone coming soon. There, we're working on a, a, Sooner than you a think. challenge zone that we won't talk about in too much oh, detail yeah. right now, but the, that's pretty There's awesome. another, there'll be a new challenge duo. Some of the people who really liked the challenge duos. We have a new pretty intricate, exciting, difficult challenge <laughs> duo zone coming out. Yeah. We're doing a huge event for July. Yeah. Yes. Um, that'll be accessible to, to, to most, most so players. So you're not left out. It's not just most Raiders. Players, yeah. Just because we didn't mention you at this exact content that we're putting in for this very moment does not mean that there isn't content for you. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of middle, middle and other content coming yes and yes. all the holiday events are being updated it's you know mm -hmm. yeah we just got done uh internally play testing tinkerfest which doesn't come out until july yeah, yeah. so yeah. lots of fun stuff coming out and uh we're gonna be moving on to a huge topic uh, that a lot of you guys have been concerned about which is the dungeon finder and matchmaker and um we just want to make sure that you guys get all your questions answered so you can start prepping those right now. And we're going to do a quick intermission because we need to swap some people around, do musical chairs, and then we'll be right back. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
And we're back. Hopefully you guys didn't miss us too much. And we have Dave Kish here with us. Hello. And Dave, what do you do? Um, just a programmer on EverQuest 2. And I just came back to the team after being gone for a while. And the They've sicked you onto <laughs> yes, that was a bit of the a problem child. It was, it was kind of a funny story because Holly yeah. says, oh, hey, yeah, you got to take care of this matchmaker thing. And I thought, oh, well, how bad could that be? I haven't played in a while. I'll queue for a battleground. And before you go on any further, yes. I want to show a photo that we can all relate to really quick here. So that was kind of my experience. Um, you can't see the X4. Who uh, made this? I don't know. That's okay. a Just a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in Actual in-game content. So oh. after you guys all get your laughs and your tears and your cries out, <clears throat> we want to address it on a serious note. And uh, Dave's here to kind of talk about that. Uh, yeah, so that was my experience, and uh, it did take me a little while to get sick of griefing the four poor uh, three other people on the other team, but after a while I was like, okay, I do need to fix this. So I did fix that on our internal servers, and also the common error message I would get when I was playing about not being queued for a match when I was, uh, there was something else to just checked in last night. I remember. Yeah, we have but a full pretty list much there is a grocery list that Holly kind of said here. <laughs> <laughs> Fix all uh, the things. Yeah. Yeah, and it was everything that we got from the community too. So um, Dave is very methodically going through and fixing what we kind of refer to now as mismatch maker. Aww. Yeah. We're doing that now? I am. I just Okay, did. all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, uh, and on the subject of Dungeon Finder, obviously we're not going to touch anything to do with Dungeon Finder until Matchmaker is fixed. Um, and then the design team right now is currently looking at, um, we had a design for Dungeon Finder last year and we wanted to go back and um, they want to review it and see what features we actually want to get in there that are going to be useful um, to players now. So, yeah, I don't know if you want to talk about it, but yeah, it's kind of under review. Um, there's no, we've got no live date for that. We're just kind of giving Dave, Dave, of course, this is his priority and he's focused on this basically 100% of his time uh, until it's fixed. Um, and that's going to be an iterative process with the community too. We'll ask for help on beta uh, to go through it. Um, and then after that, then um, we'll review the dungeon finder plans with design and then we'll see how long that's going to take. But that's also a priority. I know we did promise it at SOE Live last year and we did with good intentions. And I think uh, January we released the new matchmaker code that we got from another engineer and um, it, it, yeah. He's like, I wasn't here. I was working on Landmark back then, yeah. so yeah. <clears throat> it was um, kind of a surprise for me. Yeah, so just I want, we want everyone to know we're working on it in earnest, and Dungeon Finder 2.0 is important to us, and we'll we'll start sharing information as soon as we have locked down some design. Yeah. So I don't know what you would like to kind of let the players know that is coming in the future beyond what Holly and has already talked about. Uh, pretty much fixes. Uh, I'm on the forums. You can PM me on the forums with specific issues and such. I know it's going to be this ocean of stuff <laughs> that I'll have to go through, and I'm terrible about responding. But just having all all the problems and all the things, even if it's 8 million repeats, is still real helpful to kind of go through the list. Hey, oh, ha, I haven't looked at that yet. I can take a look at that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know. That's typically what I did. Uh, I hadn't played EQ2 for a while. I just started playing again. Battlegrounds is what I did most of the time, and Nagafin. So it, it was kind of a surprise to see how it was. So I really would like to fix it because I want to play it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we will be working on that. Um, and maybe we can do some live streams too. Like Holly and I can jump in on the test server and bring you guys in random groups with us or battlegrounds and BDK. Yeah, like getting a lot of manpower would be yeah. helpful. Yeah. Yeah, we that, definitely need That sounds help. awesome. What, killing us? I'll yeah. protect yeah. Holly, it's okay. I'll need It'll be my mission sure. to make sure she stays alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. You're going to need that. You're probably going to need more people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or we could have like one dev on each side that everyone needs to protect. That'd be fun. And then yeah, we'll, I'll still which, die. Whichever one dies. She's like, no, I'll just run out there and die. <laughs> That's not good. I want to be on the other devs team then. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Got anything else you want to add to that? Besides right. you're working on it, send him a PM on the forums. 
He's ready for it. Are you ready for it? Uh, yeah, There's my mailbox is still already. full from the last time, so yeah. All right. And, um, so what you're saying is the PMs won't get to you at all is what you're saying? Probably not responses, but I'll read them. <laughs> so what I can also do is whenever Start you guys thread. make threads on the forums, I compile reports and whatnot for those, and yeah. I can probably compile a couple battleground reports for you. I've already done that in the past uh, because it was a hot topic for a while there, but then they were already like, addressing it, so um, it seems kind of redundant for me to keep sending you the same report over and over again. So, um, But yeah. Dave, what information would you want if they're going to be <laughs> posting issues? What kind of details are most helpful to you? Well, probably the stuff right now is not going to be super helpful. Once we get the first iteration out there of fixes, For then testing. responses based on those would probably be the next step to take. Uh, it's one of those things that's really difficult to test. I got a whole bunch of computers in my office, and they're all running servers, and about 20 clients, and I got to go skip around and have them all queue, and some leave, and <laughs> <laughs> All that kind of crazy stuff. It's it's kind of hard to test by myself. Um, also, things will it's change. Like forever alone. Just yes. him and like 20 yeah. computers. Just me and Mr. Wiggles here. <laughs> that's that's all we got. Um, and he's no good. It, 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 uh, it's terrible, man. Yeah. That guy can't yeah. play EQ2 for you know what. <laughs> um, <laughs> but but seriously, it, it, it is one of those things that takes a lot of people to test it and to figure out all the problems specifically. Uh, I don't know how soon I could promote this stuff to beta, maybe next week. You're look at, looking at me. Yes. Um, like, yeah, it, it, as soon as we get something we can test, we, we want as much participation as possible and, and get it going so it's fixed. So mm -hmm. yeah, next week if you can get it on beta, we can get some That'd people be on beta. Cool. Yeah. And people are saying, Mr. Wiggles, you should hire Mr. Wiggles to respond to your PMs. <laughs> For you. He it's about the same much. difference. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he's already doing that. That's yeah. what's happening right now. That's the problem. Um, We're right. also oh. saying we should raffle Carlos's EQ2 shirt. Yeah. They Ooh. Want. <laughs> he's like, no, it's mine. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we just wanted to really address that. I know that was a hot topic, and I'm glad that you guys were willing to come on here and uh, fight the good fight and talk well, about yeah, it. Yeah, because it kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, we, <laughs> Quote we, we definitely <laughs> agree with that. We know what you guys are going through, and I've been kind of reiterating that over and over, but I wanted you guys to hear it from the development team themselves so you know it's coming. Uh, there are things going to be going down the line. And as soon as it's on, t on test, we'll post on the forums, and we'll let you guys know. Okay. Yeah. So moving on to the next thing, which is dev picks. We have Nathan over there. How you doing, Nathan? I'm doing good. He's Thanks. already prepared. Yep. So already what happens here? House. What happens here is during Dev Picks, we go and check out some Can of the houses you guys have decorated, and we we give them a thumbs up. Yeah. So here we are in. <coughs> I'm gonna massacre this name. Unobfuscatory look arounder laboratory. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's on permafrost, and it is a massive home. Uh, by Destructor. Ooh. But look at just it, this place, and you're like, what? You know, you, you come around all sorts of corners, and, you're, and you think, oh, oh, that's it? No, wait. Oh, I like the uh, strobe lights going on. Right? There's so much here that isn't just from Tinkerfest. Like, I can pull out and go like, oh, that's from this event, that's from this other event. There is so much from all over in the game that it just made me think like this is someone's record of obscure game things that they've done <laughs> while playing and yet they've made this huge place that um, displays it well yeah, and keeps it all within this theme and you'll find interactive signs and books all over the place they've done a really good job of making this feel like their own individual piece and this is just inside of the, the main building. Then there's also the outside area. I'm getting some compliments in chat. Someone's like, whoa, Nathan, you're really young. <laughs> I have a baby face. And someone <laughs> else saying jar. they need a bigger house. You should get a bigger house, come on. <laughs> um, yeah, this place is really Bam, pretty. I just cheated. It's very, it's very <laughs> clockwork uh, <laughs> style. Yes. Oh. Yes. With That's kind of amazing. like a gothic darkness to it. And then like all of this, they completely built out here. Ooh. So you got this little... <laughs> you got stuck on it. Right. <laughs> I was thinking it was the, uh, the other side where you can actually go in. Well, let's go over there. And you're actually going to be making a post, or maybe you already did this? I have not yet, but I did want to uh, after today's 
Yes. So you guys can actually sign up and let him know. He'll have some criteria of what he needs to know in order to go check out your house, and you could be spotlighted here for Dev Picks in the future, and we'll all decide if we're going to give it a thumbs up Yay. or thumbs down. Wow. Yeah. So they kind of sad if we said they did a really eh. good thing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pass it. Yeah. yeah, I got a house you'll want to look at. I think I have junk I just threw in. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna jump over to my second one for this month. Right. And it is Tranquility Pond, also on permafrost. It's a medium home. Off to the next one. Yeah. So that one was good. A lot of people in chat going, Wow, that's stunning. So much work. Amazing. Oh, where did you go? Should we do another musical interlude like we did last time? Kyle, do you have a song for us? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a beautiful, like, he's got a beautiful yeah. singing, singing voice. We're not going to do really, the YMCA. There it is. It's really quite, <laughs> it's really I think quite he's something. He's trying to steal that dinosaur's leg at the current moment. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like so grasping well, I, onto the dinosaur. Well, it's leg. because he looks like he's he's dancing already. The dinosaur. Oh yeah. Yeah, his go. leg is really kind of wonky there. The, it, I don't know. This, this is going down real fast. Yeah. Hurry up, All right. and faster. We need an extra. <laughs> <laughs> and and this this zone or this uh, player's house. This is Tranquility Pond. Ooh, uh, it's a medium home on and it on also. Pa, goodness sakes, on permafrost. And um, it is owned by Tasmania. Hmm. So, and at first you're like, oh yeah, okay, so that's a bunch of stuff put around. Eh, maybe that's your opinion. Well. Can you climb the rainbow? That's oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. If that's that came in this last frost fell. I, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty static. You win. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what got me was just how much of the history of their gaming was placed here all over the heck and back. Some big boots. Yeah, yeah, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. Big You're shoes not to fill. You could fit in <laughs> one of them. <laughs> well, you know, I am kind of skewing the, uh, the, the size scale, here. Yeah, yeah <laughs> with me being a fae. But look at all of the, just the tiny little details. Pardon as it's still rendering. <laughs> <laughs> People are pretty excited about the rainbow. Well, that's the killer with people using all the house items like this is it far exceeds the technical limitations of the engine. I know, but what they build is amazing. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It is definitely amazing. You know, just to see all of these little objects from uh, in-game content and Station Marketplace and Player Studio, it's just... I would definitely encourage anyone to come and explore yourself. Give yourself some time, because you'll need it. Um, yeah, we're just running through these really fast, so we're not even showing off no, every little no, detail. No, no, not even to the, the most impressive uh, the most impressive parts of it sometimes. We have Taz's guild mate in here. You gotta tell him that his house is being <laughs> Call Yes, him let him know. Text him. We're raiding his house. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you guys are all welcome to join him as he's saying where we are and what, uh, which places we're going at. Um, yeah. Last time I think we had a couple. We had a dancer. Yeah, yeah, we had a, yeah, we had a dancer. Awesome. Uh, let's go to Tranquility Pond. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Someone's like, I still can't build these in stairs. Well, you can kind of go check out some mm -hmm. of these, like some of the other places, and um, get some pro tips on them. There's also people too who come and do specific components on your house. Oh, I know yeah. on AB yes. there was someone advertising Absolutely. that they would do specific sets of stairs that you wanted. And uh, <coughs> those same players have also run at SOE Live. Have run um, how tos. How tos. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sat and in on one last year. It was really cool. And on the home show area and the forums, a lot of people will take orders. So if you have some yeah. orders that you want, uh, you can be like, want to trade things for other things. And <laughs> it can be amazing. You can get things that you amazing. want. Amazing. Things for fun, things. Fun times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That could be the name of your shop. Things for things. So this, this had actually fooled me when I came in. I was like, wow, this cave system, I don't remember it being this big. It or bonk. <laughs> <laughs> it's an illusion. That's, That's phenomenal. That's right? pretty neat, though, yeah. the way They're that they make it look. They're being really creative. Yeah, make it look more spacious. And it just seems like you could easily get lost within so many of these houses because they just keep putting more and more. <laughs> 
Dang, he's got like awesome. little venues. And, right? Drinking Until venues. the server crashes. This is like a little bazaar, a mini bazaar. So like and so now you see cakes. why it is oh, that I chose this. When you first come in, you're like, oh, okay, that's cute. I get your theme. Wait, there's so much more. This is like its own zone. <laughs> it's its he own some, LARP area. He needs some uh, Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at this. It's, and they're from all over in the game. It, this is a huge museum Fabric of EverQuest shop. 2 house items. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. Yeah. I feel like that would be like the massage shop. Get some <laughs> incense, massage. It's, so anyway, this I had to crazy. totally give it props. Yeah, I just, I had so much fun looking around going, I remember putting that into game. I remember, oh yeah, I remember that quest. I remember, yeah. Hey, can we make the horse there into a mount? <laughs> Yeah, could we do that? Well, how would you move? Like you'd the rock rocking and, horse? and it would Well, like we could do that, <laughs> but no. I could say no. 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 I actually, the couch says I, no. I think, the couch oh, says no. Sorry about that. The <laughs> yeah. couch is buzzed. Everybody, <laughs> do you agree with the couch or do you agree with Kish? Because I'm in agreement yeah. with Kish. I would like the rocking Well, I just want to take that out horse. to Smuggy D and go riding around that. <laughs> That's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> or down a slide where it just kind of like a hill. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. So anyway, some really good picks this uh, this month, and uh, if if you want to go ahead and put your house up for uh, suggestion, go right ahead. I will be starting a thread in the housing section, a uh, Narathian Home Show section of the forums uh, to to tell you post here. Uh, so uh, look for that. With uh, I hope to get that up later today. Yeah, and then I will be, I'm actually gonna be adding a section into the EQ2 Insider part underneath the Herald, and that will have a link to all the ways that you can be part of the show. I'm gonna ha have like a bunch of links where you can submit a photo or submit a video, or yes. and I'll link to his thread as well, and a couple other things as well for Guild Spotlights. I mean, if you've ever checked out Friday Night Apps, which is another show that I run, we're gonna do a lot of stuff that's similar to that. So anything that you think that you've seen there, you're probably gonna see here, but with more, because we have PvP, we've got PvE, we've got dungeons, we've got all kinds of stuff so and crafting we could even spotlight some crafters doing some cool stuff or awesome. watching you build things in in game and i think that would be really neat so yeah and that's kind of it for us this evening we got we have one more announcement i don't know who wants to do it What's what the level 100 yeah oh. <laughs> that was it <laughs> there, yep, that was it name tags Ta -da. Yeah. um so if you guys didn't get it we had a couple different hints throughout the show um our next expansion, we're going to be increasing the level to level cap to 100. Didn't we say Kyle was the level 100 designosaur? No. No. We're all level 100 according to the tags. Everyone oh, is level we? 100. Yeah. We were going to replace him, uh, Akil, with a level 100 de designosaur, designosaur if he didn't show up. Yeah. We can still do that though. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, nothing. No, I'm yeah. sorry. So, yes, everyone's like, ooh, it's level 100. <clears throat> but yeah, going to level 100 is a very, very, very minor part of the next expansion. Yeah, I was going to say, we should wonder, clarify wonder, it's for an expansion. I wonder, I wonder what else, maybe. <laughs> I wonder what else there could be <laughs> in the next expansion. Large Get in. part. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> and that's how we're going to end it for the evening. Tune in next month. We're, pr we're planning on doing these monthly. We may do them even more if we get more people interested in watching. But for right, for right now, we're going to be doing them the first Wednesday of every month. And don't forget to tune into Landmark Live right after this. And I'm going to upload this to YouTube. So those of you who want to share it out or um, if you didn't get to catch this live, you'll be able to watch it on YouTube over at youtube.com slash everquest2. And we'll see you next month on EQ2 Insider. Toodles. Bye-bye.